the only podcast coming through your beat stereo. It's Cherry's World, so let's go around like a merry go. Plug your phone in, make sure it got a full battery. Download it Wednesday, listen to it Saturday. She cover all topics, whatever you after. She got ball players, authors, doctors, actors, rappers, singers, entrepreneurs, divas, leaders, androids or Apple. Turn up your speakers. Trying to shoot my shot like the vaccine, whether it's Cherry or Maxine, whether the podcast or acting, she that queen. PYT, you know what that means. Saw you on TV and touched the screen. Touch on you. I plead Lil C's got a crush on you. It'll mean the world to get a blush from you. Teaspoon to me, leave your sleep like Robert Tussin do. Hey, so everybody that's watching or listening, I'm gonna give um like a behind the scenes thing real quick. This is not Cherry and Veli's first time working together. <laughs> they don't, they probably don't. <laughs> Cherry, I know Cherry has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Veli. <laughs> So I used yeah. to I used to do this other show, and um, Cherry. Okay, Cherry. How about this? Who's one of my favorite comedians? I'm always talking to you about. I don't know. Okay, Jay Anthony Brown used to do this thing on the Steve Harvey oh, show, well. where he made like a um, a show within the show, and he would just drop off like um, <gasps> a script with everybody. Um, <laughs> And he would just and he and they went. He wouldn't tell them ahead of time. He just give them a script. So I thought about doing that for the show we was doing before I met Cherry. And I just gave a script to everybody, and they were getting pissed off. Like, man, why don't you give us the script ahead of time? Don't just drop it to us right when we when we about to record. And I just thought it would be funnier that way, right? It definitely was. It definitely was. So we end up. I end up interviewing Cherry, and I just happened to ask. I said, Hey, don't do nothing too serious. Here's the script. Just say these lines, and I'm just gonna add it in with the guys. So Cherry sends the script back, and because she's a professional, she sends it back three or four different ways. It was like maybe 15 lines. She's right. like, you didn't tell me how you want me to say it, so I said it four different ways. And I'm sitting <laughs> back like, this is one of the most professional things I've ever heard. So I called <laughs> Billy. I'm like, yo, this one got serious now. This ain't even no. Like gimmick to the show, we gotta do this for real now. So he, get, he got me really rehearsing, like rehearsing lines to, <laughs> to somebody I don't even know who I'm talking to at the moment. I'm like, who, who, who? oh, oh, she going? So, so not to cut you off, I'm gonna get right back I'll to you. Ahead. I was just gonna say, so my first ever Uber driver was Sherry Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> in this script, in this yeah. script, yes, right. yes, we did, yeah. So that was the first time they worked together. They didn't even know that. No, Cherry didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, once as soon as you said skit and my old show, I was like, oh, you, you're the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was daydreaming about Cherry and turned out she basically kicked me out the uh, Uber. <laughs> Can we play that here or is it like a, a copyright issue? No, nah, I mean that's that's up to you. Do your audience I think, hear that? I think they want to get. I think they want to hear. It. I think so too. I mean, I want to hear. Of, it's kind of great. Well, it's for adults. Okay, this this is for adults only. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Last Night in Vegas. Today we are joined by our special guest Cherry Johnson playing Kim. When we last left. Sean had a heated confrontation with his cousin Leroy because he wouldn't let Sean in on whatever his plan is. Cousin Leroy left in a cab while Sean was waiting on an Uber to Club Bear. Club Bear is known for having topless women at the club. Let's look in on Sean catching his Uber ride to Club Bear. Hi, I'm your Uber driver, Kim. Nice to meet you. Damn, I don't care a dick red bone. Shit, instead of going to Club Bear and finding someone, I might have found my girl right here. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> so you're going to Club Bear, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, if you don't mind me asking, are you going to meet up with someone or are you just hanging out by yourself? Yeah, I'm just... I ain't by myself today. <laughs> okay. Just going to see some titties, huh? <laughs> well, honestly, um, look, I'm in this stupid-ass bed with my friends, man. They led me here. 
I bet. Look, I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds, but what kind of bet did you make that you have to go see some titties at Bear? Actually, um, it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, shit, one of my guys, he hit the jackpot on our first night in Vegas, and he said if we bring him proof of a certain type of chick we smashed before we leave tomorrow, he would give us $5,000. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so silly. <laughs> Men do the craziest things. So what type of woman do you have to <laughs> smash? Well, actually a girl that looks like you. <gasps> what a coincidence. No, I'm serious. Well, I mean, if you have to smash a chick that looks like me, then why am I taking you to Club Bear? I mean, all we have to do is go right to my apartment. It's up the street. Bum, 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 dramatic reverb. Sean is surprised by Kim's advance and gives her the look, seemingly talking with his eyes, but still not saying anything. Uh, let me ask you a question. This is a real nice car. What kind of car is it? Oh, thank you. This is just... A 2017 Mercedes-Benz Coupe C43 AMG. You said AMG? Yes, a AMG. Nah, this ain't no AMG. Yes, this is an AMG, baby. So you said your apartment is not too far from here, right? Right around the corner. Sean and his Uber driver, Kim, go to her apartment and proceed to make love instantly. They are all over each other, and then all of a sudden, Sean stops. Wait, hold on. I know this is going to probably sound crazy, and probably going to ruin the mood, but uh, Rock said I have to record this in order to win. Do you mind being on camera? I won't show your face. Promise. Yes, baby. It's cool. Just don't stop anymore. Sean can't believe this is happening and that he is actually about to win the bet. He sets up his phone so he can get a good view for the guys to see. Oh, shit. I won now. I'm going home to win a 5K, baby. <sighs> Sean. 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 Sean, hello, your name is Sean, right? What? Huh? Your name is Sean, right? Well, get the fuck out of my car. We are here at Club Bear. Uh, are you high yeah, or something? I, are you on probation? Yeah, Please get I, out. But I thought... You better leave me a good rating, too. Hey, what? <laughs> I played it. It was fun. It was funny. It... It was funny, but then if you need an Uber least, driver to your we next film, you know, just holler at me if you need an Uber driver. We're gonna reverse you are the, the only road. Uber driver I am ever going to have ever. <laughs> now that I know that it's you, I remember Veli. Veli, when you gonna record your audition tape for her too? Hey, you know man, what? I got a couple of them. <laughs> but the cherry, I just gotta say that because you made me think about it. I gotta listen to it again. Like you really made that shit, like. I remember when you sent it to him, like, I, ca I called dude, I'm like, yo, this shit supposed to be just a joke, but man, she done made it so real. And, and, and Trina did too, because Trina did her part too, but but Cherry sent like four different versions of every line she said. I'm like sitting there like, I really got to focus. Like, I'm sorry, I made it hard for you to edit, huh? Look, hey, but Cherry, you know what? It was so good, we ain't recorded. Yeah, me nervous. After that. <laughs> we just left, I'm like, Mic drop. This is it. We can't. Well, because you sent it with no direction or anything. Exactly. <laughs> and so I was like, I, w I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. And I wanted to be a professional. <laughs> so yeah. I gave you options. That's crazy. Just like when I record commercials now. Don't I always give you options? Yeah, but back then, I just wasn't used to that. And it was just, it just, I, was, I called dude. I remember calling him up. I'm like, yo. And he was so busy. I'm like, man, send this shit in, man. Because I got to. I'm sorry. Yeah. The print made me nervous. I was like, damn, how did Sam, bro? <laughs> how did Sam? It felt like it felt the audition tape. Oh, hey, tell Cherry, tell her, tell them what grade your seven year old daughter is in. 
My seven-year-old's in the fifth grade. What? Yeah, she's amazing. But she <laughs> asked me to this book a few years ago, and she begged me forever to put it out, and I didn't want to. And they had family court in the living room where her uncle was her attorney, and my mother was the judge, and I had to represent <laughs> myself, and I lost. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm a little wow. slow on my math right now. What a seventh grader supposed to be in what? Third grade? Like first. first. I mean, I second. said seventh grader. A seven year old. A seven year old, yeah. Like yeah. first or second. First or second grade, ain't it? My first second. Man. Yeah, fifth grade? That's amazing. And I, I thank you. I Snap that up. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm great. I was still trying to find what my damn room numbers was at. Trying to mix the eyes with <laughs> right. the evens. Hold on, the eyes on this side, the evens on that side. I was saying, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why I'm sleep by eight thirty because I homeschool. So I'm her teacher. Okay. I don't use okay. the, a video homeschool. I'm actually teaching classes all day, and so I provide okay. three meals a day. So, I homeschool. I'm PE teacher. I'm mommy, and I work. So, so at seven so, o'clock, I want people to go away. So I've, I've, I've never known anybody that was homeschooled. We all grew up in, you know, the Chicago public school system. Is, do you think it's benefits? Like, or what benefits are there to being homeschooled? It's amazing. As opposed, mm-hmm. Well, you're, you have a one-on-one education. So it's you and the teacher. Right. It's not here. Read this chapter and answer the six questions at the end. It's, right. you know what, like right now she's learning about World War I right? It's our first year not doing Black history, because I felt like it was important for her to know who she was before the school system tried to teach her who she was. Mm -hmm. And so I really just like concentrated on like Black excellence and our horrible past in this country, but also about how education comes from Africa, blah, blah, blah. So she's learning about Mm -hmm. World War One, right? So what we did was not only did we read the chapter, but we listened to the music back in those times. We watched movies. She learned Mm -hmm. about trench foot and the diseases. Um, There's nobody that she could talk to, but we went through and read journals and that kind of stuff with the men and women who were involved with World War One. if she was in school, she'd have just read the chapter and answered the little six questions at the end, and that was mm-hmm. it. You get an experience mm-hmm. when you go to school. Yeah. And then, like, we have pet deer, okay? So my daughter throws corn to the pet deer. Mm-hmm. Well, she doesn't mm-hmm. throw the corn where she's supposed to, so I was outside the other day, and I was picking up all these weeds, so I thought, right? It was corn, The child had corn stalks growing all over my yard. So (laughs) she had to learn about germination. Mm -hmm. But it's an organic education. You know, where I have to. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. How long have you been homeschooling? She told me she was ready to start school when she was three. We found out. mm -hmm. We found out she could read accidentally when she was two. Mm-hmm. And dope. yeah, she was like fluently reading. And then when she was three, you know how you buy your kid those little work sheets and stuff? Mm-hmm. She brought me this little worksheet book at three and said, I'm ready to start school. Wow. And so I was like, oh, okay, right. let's go do kindergarten and preschool stuff. And we did. And from then I had her doing abcmouse.com. And the reason why I had her doing Black History, just to put it out there, is she was three. And she was doing abcmouse.com and she came to me crying. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, I don't want to be a slave. And I said, why would you think that you had to be a slave? She said, abcmouse.com said, it, they didn't tell her that she had to be a slave, but they were talking about little brown kids picking <laughs> cotton in slavery. Right. And I got pissed off wow. instantly because they teach children slavery as early as five right? But they wait to teach them about the Holocaust until they're 10, 11, and 12, because they want you to be more mature, because they don't want to traumatize the children. And that's when it clicked that um, our curriculum systematically brainwashes our kid, plays on the self-esteem of young brown children while uplifting the self-esteem of white kids. And it's really our first experience with white supremacy. Mm. And I started to think back of my, um, 
I hated school just to make it plain. And one of the reasons why I hated school is I grew up in an all white neighborhood. I was the only black kid in my class. So anytime they talk about a slave or anything, the whole class will turn around and look at me. And I'm a little bit more cocky than y'all. So I was like, what the fuck you looking at? I can buy you. And so I got in trouble. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I don't want that experience for my daughter. So I realized that her education is my um, responsibility. So do you think she would be? Yeah, no, that definitely is. I was going to say, it's kind of, you kind of answered it, but do you think she would be in fifth grade if it wasn't for you homeschooling her? No, because I have taken her places to get tested. And it's really funny. It depends on who tests her. Mm -hmm. When she was three and a half, she got tested. They tested her as a seven and a half year old. When she was six, I took her to Cumin to get tested. They told me to be there for about two hours. The lady who tested her talked to her for 15 minutes. She handed her pictures and said, look at these pictures. What is this? So Rhythm was like, it's a dog, it's a cat, it's a cow. You know, Mm -hmm. the lady wasn't asking anything. And in 15 minutes, Rhythm came up with a sticker and she's like, I'm done. And I'm like, you're done. You're supposed to be here for two hours. So I asked her, yeah. and she's like, well, for her, she, she could definitely start kindergarten. And I'm like, she's in second grade. She's like, well, she has no how to tell time. I said, did you ask her? I said, Rhythm, what time is it? And Rhythm looked up and said, it's 10 15. And I looked back at the woman and I said, you didn't even ask her? She said, well, for her age, I just went by what she's supposed to know. So what they do to our children instead of pushing them, or challenging them, it's okay for them to be acceptable. Mm -hmm. She gave rhythm what she thought that she needed because of her age. She didn't even give her the name of the animals. She just gave her the damn pictures. Right. (laughs) When my child, so no, I, I can't leave my daughter in a schoolroom with oppressors and expect for them to bring out the best in her. Right, because it's it's just a job to them. At the end of the day, it's a, right. it's just a job to them. But it's your child, so you gonna yeah. push more. You would assume you would push more than they would, and Definitely. it's crazy because my son, maybe a week, two weeks ago, <laughs> similar similar situation. He uh told me he took a test, and I could tell when I saw him when I got home, he was like a little quiet. I'm like, you know what's going on? He was like, man, it's crazy. And he's 13. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so we took a test the other day. And I finished it, the first one in class, I was finished. And so my teacher gonna look at me and say, you, you don't take this test serious? And he said, I looked at it like, what do you mean? And my son always been a good kid. Next day he gets his test back, he has an A. He, passed, he clearly passed with like a 95. So he said, you know, like you said, even as a kid, yeah, you could talk his shit and whatever. He said, he just took his sheet and looked at it and said, I told you I knew what I was doing. So mm-hmm. I, I definitely get what you're saying as far as them, you know, wanting to kind of puppet what the kids should be able to do, uh, you know, at a certain time, certain age or whatever. Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was he was definitely he was a little heated about that. I could tell he was a little heated. As he should be. You know, when I was in school right. one time, I took a test and I remember not missing anything. They told my mom I cheated. <laughs> mm. I remember one time I was accused of cheating, not did cheat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's the fact they accused you. Though. <laughs> but they accused me. Like, they ain't uh, had no proof. They ain't had no proof. It's gonna say I cheated. Tattoos. I can't help. If he came to if he came to L.A. like that, what would happen to him? Could he just nothing would happen because I wouldn't come to L.A. just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so what to happen? I think mean, yeah. people watch too many movies and. Mm. Um, they hype it up. Like, I would like to say that everybody's a little respectful. You might get a question or two, depending upon where you are. Of course. That you're probably not going to be in the middle of that, you know. Mm-hmm. They might ask you something. And they've asked me a couple of times, but I had to explain, baby, my name is Cherry. My whole life is red. Like, there you go. There you, you go. But um, I, I, I want to say that everybody's pretty respectful. If, you, if you're not with the business, if you're not down there trying to get with no business. Right. You mind your yeah. business. If you mind <laughs> your business, it's not a Mind your business. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
It's, it's not a TV show or a movie. I, I, I would like to say everything. Like this, this ain't the wood, right? Remember the movie The Wood? Yeah. I mean, they might <laughs> that's, ask that's you what you're going to put your hat on or something like that. Oh, for sure. As they, as they should, because they will get the same treatment here if your head was the wrong way. If I'm in, if I'm in Chicago and people ask me about, you know, that, that game, I can imagine possibly if I'm over in L.A., you know what I mean? But red just happened to be my favorite color. That's what I'm saying. And so I was out there, actually, and one of my friends took me back to his neighborhood, and I had on a hat, and I had it on sideways. And he was like, no, 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 you can't do that around here. And I was like, yeah, I was like, what? Why? And he was like, you got to turn that hat straight and point it down. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Facts. And so he was explaining to me, like, you know, the size of him. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, I wasn't trying to be rude. I just sometimes. Well, I did, like you said, you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What was that, Cherry? Did you say what year was that? Yeah. Um, it was before I had rhythm, maybe like 2010. Wow. Yeah. They kind of getting away from that now, I guess. But man, uh, back in the okay. days when we was growing up, shit. it was heavy. Man, <laughs> you had it if, turned if you, a little bit to the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> if you was on one one expressway, right, Cherry, you got to have it going to the left. But as soon as you go that way to the 90 Express with the Dan Ryan, <laughs> you better straighten it out or go the other way. Just that I quick. Right. He told me we were going towards Gary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That might have been now in Gary, that might have been the early 2000s. Oh, yeah, that yeah. yeah, was still heavy. And I was yeah, like, yeah. I didn't I didn't understand the big deal. It was just a hat. Yeah, it was still heavy. Hey, but we we definitely been through a lot of a lot of shit, ups and downs, crazy shit. It was a time we was at another spot. It was, I, I want to say it was Thanksgiving. Oh, we yeah. sitting at the bar. We just happened to be right by exit door. I'm on my first drink or a second drink. Long Island iced tea. I can't make this up because I still remember. I forgot I'm that. drinking my drink. Got my fresh Tim's on. Got my side kick on my hip. Soon as I go to Chug, pop, pop, pop. I'm still trying to drink. And we had like <laughs> a tall stew. So see, me about to head out. So as I'm still driving my cup, he what you did something where you grabbed my waist and snatched my whole phone clip off my belt buckle. We in his car. I still got the drink in my hand. But the dude that was shoot walked out like right behind us, like nothing happened. Like, man, what happened? He was so drunk, he was shooting in the club, like just on some happy shit. I was like, bro, that's the nigga that was shoot. He was like, <laughs> so he just won't walk out. He was like, Yeah, we'll, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, I say, hey, man, I, I did because you know we were our Tim's untied, so I think I only had one 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 boot on, right? Yeah, that was your shit. Your Tim came off. Yeah, uh, yeah, damn. I've been going to church ever since then. Like, you guys were like really young because when I was really young, like they shot up a club or two that I was into, and thank God I used to date this huge football player. Dude, one time he literally broke the railing of the steps put me over his shoulder and ran down the steps and out the building. Mm. My ass was all out. A little dress on. But, <laughs> but like, I was really young. <laughs> For real. And I was at a USC party. USC is in the hood. Mm. I probably shouldn't even been here. Damn, I, in the hood? Yeah, USC is in the middle of South Central. South Central. Oh, that's what it's Damn. It's just I like mean, the, it's, uh, it's gentrified now, though. It's really nice, to right? Play. University of what? Like that new Rams, that new Rams stadium in Eaglewood. Yeah, and that's that's the hood. So it used to go down, but now it's all gentrified and nice. So it's different. And I used to get my hair it's done at the Compton Swap Meet. So, damn. Not because I had to, just because I was stupid. So he carried you <laughs> with a dress on, and you. <laughs> Put me straight over his shoulders. He broke the rail in and went running. <laughs> At least he took you with, with him. He did. He didn't leave me. He was like, let's go. Uh, some, 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 dude, some dudes would have ran out of there and left your ass in there. I, I've been really lucky that I have been surrounded by really good men. I've only dated a few bums. You know, but for the most part, they've been really good guys, just not for me. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, my that's comments there. But I mean, I've been in a few little incidents in some places I shouldn't have been. That's youth. I think we all have. 
I think that's the black experience though. That's one of the reasons why we can all connect because our lives, unfortunately, have paralleled. Everything mm-hmm. is synonymous with the black experience. Right. That's why we relate to each other so much. I wish that we would come together and love each other more. Because you and me both. Yeah. So what can we do to change that? Be more loyal and see, see, like we don't trust each other. Because I know I don't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. what I done been through. So it's I don't know if we could ever do that because we don't trust each other. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the Chicago process way, should be. Chicago way back. I'll go here yeah. real. Now I'm saying whatever the process is gonna be, it's gonna be a long process. Yeah. And that and that's the second part of what I just said too. Chicago way behind. So like he said, it's gonna take a while. It's gener it's the, the yeah. generation, the youth, you know what I mean? They mm-hmm. it's, it's gonna I, take a while. Can I ask a serious question too? Because I got three beautiful black men on with me, right? My experience with Black men is different than a lot of my sister's experience with men. I always get, well, for the most part, I guess some ignorant ones, but for the most part, everybody is loving and sweet and kind and very respectful to me. So Mm -hmm. I can jump in a group of Black men and it'd be okay. Unfortunately, I can't always jump in a conversation with my sisters and it'd be friendly. Why is it that some Black women can have that experience of genuine love from men, even if they do not know, and others never get that experience? I think it's about the way you, um, you said this, it's the way you, um, you know, come into the situation, you know, the way you, the way you, um, you know, hold yourself. You know, you remember you told me what, um, what's, what's big man, what's, what's big, Oliver Miller, Mm-hmm. You had the one that girl person in action. Yeah, you know, one, the one girl came to the came to the hotel and oh yeah, she disappeared. Yeah, she was supposed to go get soda. He gave her like like this um crown royal bag full of change to go get sodas. What so we were eating, right? Uh we had Cheesecake Factory and we didn't have any drinks. We were in his hotel room. And mm-hmm. so he gave her the Crown Royal bag because she was supposed to go down the hall to the soda machine. She never came back. So like 20 minutes later, I'm like, do you ever eat some fettuccine Alfredo and some garlic bread and ain't had nothing to drink? Right. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I start popping my head down the hallway and was like looking for and Damien Stoudemire was in the hallway and he went and Marcus Canby was standing outside and he was like, she in my room with my roommate. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? Marcus was like, you want to change? Go in my room and get it. <laughs> <laughs> he opened the door for me. I walked in like, Ugh, can I have a bag? <laughs> this was breaks. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was Damn. So I think that's like about, I mean, you know, the way you the way you come across. Like yeah. But I mean, even here tonight, like I've said some really not appropriate things. Yeah, but you didn't say, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nah, I mean, you ain't, you just talking. Like, that's different than. Yeah. I but think I, you look, some, sometimes, sometimes each of us look at the opposite sex different. Meaning, I know, it, I know exactly what you mean. I got plenty of female friends that say, yeah, I got a lot of guy friends because it's something about when I go talk to a female, you know what I mean? Of course, mm-hmm. a guy first instinct, and I'm I don't want to speak for every guy, but it's gonna be attraction. Whether we ever do something or not, is damn who shorty is. Even if we cool right. and you turn out to be my play sister, whatever. So it's like an automatic versus I, I can't speak for a woman because I'm not a woman, but I don't know how their first transaction is with a new female, like you know what I'm saying, who she is, or you know what I'm you know yeah. what I'm saying. I am the honorary play sister for sure. <laughs> But I just wish that more of um, our women, because they're not just my women, but our women got the opportunity to really experience genuine love from a man, whether it's just friendship, yeah. relative, something like that, because I think it would change their whole existence. And then I yeah, think I a lot of men know when a woman is out their league too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think some men know like, Nah, I'm not going to even try that with her. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you might have that going for yourself too, Cherry. A lot of men just like you oh, might. You were t- you intimidating people out here. But it's fucked up because I get all the crazy <laughs> ones. <laughs> Like the ones that she, you, nobody she intimidated by the ones, the nice ones, but the ones that want to shit and record, they all open. Right. I'm good yeah, with me. Right. I'm, I'm proud of who I am. Yes. She don't intimidate me. I'm a shit for right. her. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's my what she was experience. Right. It's like the normal right. motherfuckers don't even, they be like, what's up, sis? Hey. But do you think, Cherry, because a lot of people can't break away from your character, do you think just because of dude on your shirt, do you think everybody feel like some people just feel like they got a chance? With- well, I hear that a lot. I do hear well, you you used to fuck with Waldo. Like that's what they say. You fuck with Waldo, so I know you <laughs> fuck with me. Like, I get that all the time. And I'll be confused because I'd be like, first of all, <laughs> Waldo's a character. Hell no. And then when I say, but, no. but then I say, first of all, Waldo's a character and I got paid. Hell no. Pay I gotta pay you. <laughs> and you wear the nigga shirt. You to pay my quote. <laughs> and you wear the nigga shirt. Y'all doing right. something, right? Right, right. You got a shirt on. Y'all doing something. But, but in all that's crazy to say. The first, the first three weeks, me and her worked together. I still had to get that out of me because you know, you know how we we loved Family Matters growing up, and so mm. like you know, Vella, you can respect this. It was it was like a, a few years where I didn't watch it as we got like sixteen. I, yeah, older, right? I, I didn't yeah. catch it, and I never mm-hmm. the first episode that I watched like live, like at eighteen, maybe seventeen, eighteen, was her. Waldo wasn't on the show; she was dating a dope boy, and it fucked mm-hmm. me. I'm like, why is she dating fucking dope dealers and shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. We were right. teaching a lesson. The first three weeks of me and her working together, that's all I kept talking to her about. Like. <laughs> Her and the uh, the dope boy, because uh, that's the first episode I watched as a like a, a basically as an adult. So I'm like, yo, how she get fucked up? Like, yeah, I just couldn't let that shit go, man. <laughs> I couldn't let that. <laughs> and then, like, if you listen to the interview we did with Sean Harrison, she's like, can you please explain to him because he keeps bringing us up. I could, I just couldn't let it go. I'm like, like we don't ever remember the shows like that. We just got paid, we set right. our lines, and we went home. Yeah. You know. You know what's crazy? Like, I, I I gotta admit, I had a slow moment because I didn't know, like, I was just, Belly was like, oh, we're gonna do the podcast. Um, um, I was like, all right, cool, with CB, right? So he didn't, he, I didn't know that, you know, this was gonna be Cherry's <laughs> podcast. So, the slow moment, I was like, man, this lady looks familiar. <laughs> I was like, I know her from somewhere, but I just can't picture it. Then it clicked later. <laughs> I appreciate that because then I'm treated yeah. like a human. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's I want to be human. <laughs> you are. You are human. <laughs> but people see, you got to do a. Uh, see, if you got to do a top five like TV crushes when we was young or something. Because I know Cherry <laughs> on there. She definitely on mine. Yeah. Well, let's go. <laughs> Who are they? You. Uh, Janet Jackson when she was on different uh different strokes. I think everybody liked different strokes, Janet. Even though that was before my yeah. time, like going back and watching it, like <laughs> it was Alyssa Milano. Who's the boss? Yeah. I had a, I had a thing for her. Yeah. Damn. Who else? Uh, uh Stacy Dash. <laughs> on uh on, on uh, what's that show? Clueless. You talking on Clueless? Clueless? Yeah. On Clueless. But yeah, it was definitely. Mm-hmm. Do you still feel the same way about Stacy now? I don't. <laughs> uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Things change. Well, I mean, I, I liked her when she was on Clueless, but shit, I don't know. I think she was beautiful. <laughs> she is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, we can't forget about Lock Voorhees. We can't forget about yeah. I did like her, but I like. See, I liked the Jada. But I like Kelly too, though. I like Ooh, the- Jada. On, on a different world, I thought she was so fine. Even though she acted boyish, I thought she was just so fine on that. And then, mm. um, and then everybody else, Cherry. I ain't gonna lie; they were all other than you. They were all white. <laughs> I like the white. <laughs> yeah, you see, I was like Alyssa Milano. It is pretty. Yeah. I think Alyssa Milano's gorgeous. Did you like? Did you like? What was her name? To Topanga. What was her name? Yes. yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
That's that was one I really like. Yeah. That's so cute. So my honorary god brother married her. Really? Wait, yeah. what? Oh, yeah. Uh, Topanga. Topanga, the one that played Topanga. I think, okay. I, I think I think everybody kind of likes Topanga though. I like that more when she got older. Yeah. And the crazy yeah. part, one of my favorites was 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 Trina McGee. You know, growing oh, up. Oh yeah. And, and <laughs> like they in a scene together. And I'd even like put that together like like this is Oh crazy. yes, you did. No, I'm saying <laughs> as you told me. I'm saying like at first, like you know, like when you when I in retrospect, like it's uh -huh. crazy, like damn. That that that's how we end up like even meeting each other like that. That's just crazy to me. We should get your girl on the show. You've been wanting to get her. Yeah. It, hey, it was definitely sometimes on Family Matters when like uh your character <clears throat> and Laura was going out clubbing, y'all had y'all little dresses on. I'd be like, man, that could be me and my guy, man. Where they going out with them, man. That calls <laughs> me up, dog. Right. Right. Family set. <laughs> they go pop up. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly That's and I good. really appreciate that. And it's it's really funny hearing it later because we didn't know then. And we all was like the teenage version of y'all selves. Yeah, y'all was, yeah, y'all was, yeah. Killing it. We didn't yeah. know. Killing it. And when we went out, nobody said anything to us. So we really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's like he said, though. They probably was, you know, overwhelmed and intimidated. Mm-hmm. It was like CNN, corny nigga magnet. If there was a corny nigga in a club that was going to say something disrespectful or crazy, <laughs> Doss came to the table to talk to us, and we both be like... Oh, so y'all <laughs> went out together a few times? Yeah. yeah. Of course. See, see I mean, they might have been at Bristol's. <laughs> but so, <laughs> so we actually, though, seeing both of y'all out together in the club. Because you never, I never right. heard that before. Like, what's that? I don't know. Damn. So so do like do do people usually like hang out with their like castmates or or is it just like like outside of work like work like regular work? I mean not all at time but sometimes it's just like you know <coughs> you have certain friends that you work with that you might go have a drink with after work it's the same thing Hey let me tell you something when covid is over Soleil and I have not been in clubs in years we're going hard. I don't know where. Well, COVID is over in the South. Open. FYI. Well, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it's been, it never started Florida, in the South. Well, I'm it never started. We have kids. <laughs> but we're two cougars on a prowl. I was about to say, y'all going to be some cougars on a prowl. We're going out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to refer to yourself as a cougar? Yeah, I'm proud. Well, what, age is, what age does yeah. cougar start? I think 40 something. Right? I, thought it, I 40? thought it started when you had kids. Now that's a MILF, ain't it? A MILF. Yeah, that's a MILF. That's yeah, because I was gonna say there's 18. <laughs> Who came up with that shit? <laughs> MILF. <laughs> I know that one. It was a white boy. <laughs> it had to be. Yeah. Stifler's mom. But Cougar, yeah, I think you're 40. I'm go we're gonna go get us some little 29 year olds. Mm. Damn. I'm, not. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna act like it. Damn, real! They pushed us out the box, man. Yeah, y'all too old. <laughs> y'all got kids. Last? We ain't trying to cook for nobody else, right? <laughs> we gotta ask them because, like, I was just the reason why we uploaded Shaheem's uh, retro interview is because this the dude that told me said he heard Shaheem uh, kind of like say so. What, what you heard Shaheem said? She wanted me to ask you. Oh yeah. Uh, on drink chaps, you heard Shaheem mention like mention her, but not mention her. Something you said. Oh. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, no, he he just like indirectly was just talking about when he was younger, and you know he was he was popular. He was a big thing, just like some of the people he hung out with, like the other um, young, you know, actors, entertainers. And he mentioned he was like, yeah, you know, Monica was super cool. Uh, my girls from Family Matters. He didn't say like y'all name, but he was like, my girls from Family Matters. You know what I mean? Oh. So that's why I said he said it like indirectly. I was like, I mean? it was a story with them of a good say about me. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know, because I don't know how often you watch drink champs, but Nori be trying to press people's buttons and shit. Basically, he, he like to press the buttons, so he gonna try to get you to say some extra stuff. So he was trying to get him to say if he messed with anybody, you know, while he was younger, you know, 
that was popular back then when he was popular. Mm. Oh, yeah, he would have never said yeah. anything disrespectful. Yeah, no, nah, he definitely, yeah, he definitely did. No, nah. he, he was, was just like, saying y'all were cool, yeah, y'all were super it. cool. I know you missed it because I That's posted, still. I posted the meme, not the meme, but the the promo of Shaheem on there, and he and the first comment he was like, "Yo, thanks, um, whatever," and then. He's like, hey, you spelled my name wrong. And I was like, oh, shit. And I, I think he thought he was talking to you. So I deleted it and reposted it. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I but he was like, yo, you spelled my name wrong. I should. And you know what? When I saw it, I have a really cute picture. Of course, I don't know what it is. It's in a box somewhere. But it's like me and him um, in my room a long time ago. But we look like kids. Mm. We weren't. We were young. But we look like kids. And I wish I could find that for you to intertwine with it. I'm going to find it one day and show you. We look like babies. <laughs> Sorry, it's so cute. Young yeah, legends. It's cute and it's innocent, but yeah. That's dope. <clears throat> nah, right, man, let's end this, man. Let's wrap this. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thanks for hanging We appreciate y'all. Yeah. We went for Cherry to get on the back swear. of the screen, though. I'm looking for another movie. I, I don't know why I feel obligated to take CB when I'm watching the movie on on like Prime Video or Tubi. I'm like, uh -huh. I send him a screenshot. Hey, tell uh, tell Cherry I'm watching such and such. Thank you. So, so <laughs> Cher Cher Cherry, what you working on? Um, I'm unemployed at this moment. One of the <laughs> movies that I produced this summer, they just started mm -hmm. editing it, so it should be edited in 30 days. Okay. And I turn to the notes, and I'm just waiting so that I can try to sell this. Movie. So you gonna sell it? Hopefully, get some money out of it. And if you guys watch that behind, hold the up! Wait, 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 wait! What? Wait! What? Remember tell we her, had tell that her. conversation tell about? Her. Hopefully, I already knew. I was gonna say the hopefully. same thing. Tell them. No, nah, you gonna get some money about that. Yep. Ain't no try. Ain't no hopefully. Yes. Yep. Ain't no right, hopefully. Because I'm in the hole. We caught I'm in the hole. Get it? Yeah. So you got but two B. Two Valley. Look, it's a lot of a lot of big names in this movie. She just did too. Okay, that's what's this movie has been the hardest thing that I've ever worked on in my life. Like DMX was supposed to star in it. Mm. And the week that's we major. were supposed to start. Yeah, we were supposed to start on Tuesday. I found out he went into the hospital like the Thursday before or something. He died Friday. Mm. So it was like we had to push it back. It's, it's been one of the hardest things I've ever worked on. Um, mm. I'm personally $24,000 in the hole trying to make this work and so i just i want to be done with it but you thank you but if we can get a hundred thousand people to watch uh behind the pole on tv i can get a million dollars so behind the pole yes so how do <laughs> the motherfuckers go watch that that's my favorite app to be too really <laughs> well when you're, when you're bored just keep hitting behind the pole please for your <laughs> got you. We got you. We I got you. So, so if I, hey, I don't even think I mentioned it. I was in the intro. Well, you kind of did talk about it. I, I, we talking about party on the block. I ain't even say. Oh yeah, I was guy. Whoever listening out there, yeah, I was. Yeah, that's me. That's <laughs> me. Yeah, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I appreciate. It. I'm glad you liked it though, Cherry. Absolutely. And if Courtney lets me do this like quarterly cipher, will you guys come <laughs> back? We definitely will be back. I'm with it. For sure. Definitely. Definitely. You hear that? What up, Cherry? Heard across the world. The world. Welcome to Cherry's world. Cherry's world. Heard across the world. The world. Welcome to Cherry's world. Cherry's world. Representing.